Example 5 asks us to take this area and rotate it around the line y equals negative 3. All right, y equals negative 3 is our, our axis of rotation, so when we draw this, we need to put, leave a good bit of space underneath the axis. y equals square root of x plus 2. You know, square root of x is a half parabola. The plus 2 shifts it two units left. So 1, 2. So we've got this. Then we've got the line y equals x, which does this. And they also said the x-axis. So what we're left with here is this little region inside of here. Enlarge it while I color it in. So we're taking this region and we're ro rotating it around y equals negative 3. So let's see, we get, um, keep in mind you get three units there, so there's another three units here before we draw in the other side of it. Let's see, let me do that again. So this side is going to be flat because it's your reflection of this. So we're going to get the parabola. And then we get the reflection of this part. So that's going to be the other side of it. Now, you can do this one a couple of different ways. You, you could do it with washers, but with washers, it would be a pain. Doing it with shells, though, is going to be relatively nice. When I draw my shell in, I'm going to pick some point in the middle of the area. Draw the shell. Like this. Okay, so now we've got to work out the um, height and the radius of, of this thing. So I'm going to draw in two more points here and here. Actually, I guess I, I really only need one of them. We've got that, and now we need to come up with the radius and the height. But first, what's the thickness? The thickness, if we look at it, is a tiny change from, say, here to here. So the thickness is dy. This point here is on the line y equals x. So it's y coordinates y, and it's x coordinates also y. I mean, you know, you could label this as x, x as well, and that's correct. But y, y is the one we need. So I'm going to leave, leave y, y there. This point over here, its y coordinate is y. Well, what's its x coordinate? Well, it's on this parabola, so we need to solve this out for x. Square it, you get y squared equals x plus 2. So x is y squared minus 2. So the height of this thing, that is this length here, it's the difference in the two x coordinates. So the height is going to be y minus y squared minus 2, or y minus y squared plus 2. All right, the radius is going to be the distance from here to here. All right, so this point, what's its x-coordinate? We don't really care. Uh, technically, its x-coordinate is going to be the same as this up here. I might as well write it down. What's its y-coordinate? Its y-coordinate is negative 3 because it's right there on the axis. If I wanted to, I could label this one. Its x-coordinate is y and its y-coordinate is negative 3. So you could pull the radius off of here by doing um, y minus negative 3 over here y minus negative 3. So the height is y minus negative 3 or just y plus 3. Alrighty. So now we've got all we need to do the volume. The volume is going to be 2 pi 
integral of radius what's the oh I call that height again that's not height that's radius so radius times height times thickness and let's see our original area goes from here up to here so this is at y equals zero and what's the y coordinate up here um, Let's solve for it. Up here where the two curves cross, you've got, uh, I'm going to take these and set them equal to each other. you got x equals square root of x plus 2. Square both sides, you get x squared equals x plus 2. x is 2. And that's our volume. Let's just set this one up. That one would not really be that much trouble to do the actual integral on because uh, it would just be a matter of distributing the stuff out and then integrating a polynomial. All right.